and there is literally a bug sitting on top of my camera looking at me as I film this live. Oh my god, I just dropped it. I'm going to see Hamilton. Um... Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a everything that I got for Christmas haul because let me tell you it's been um, a long time since I posted a video. But before we get started, I'm Sophia Lovelace and I post theater videos, comedy videos, and style videos. So if any of that stuff interests you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to be notified when I have new uploads. I upload usually around once a week, sometimes twice a week, so you do not want to miss out when I have those uploads. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So hi everyone, um, it has been a, a month. Let's be frank here, it's been a month since I've uploaded a video on this channel. Was it on purpose? Absolutely not. Did I have plans to post videos this month? Absolutely. Originally I was planning, due to my success with Sophia's lovely Halloween during the month of October, that I was going to post more holiday themed videos for the month of December. However, th that did not go as planned because if you are a university or college student, December is not 100% full of holiday joy, but it is also filled with exam terror. And that is exactly what I was facing up until about midway through the month. And on top of that, I've also been working two jobs, one which is a year-round job, and the second is, well, was a seasonal job working at a toy store. So the first thing, which is kind of like a disclaimer, but then also like an actual gift, was that I got a new lighting set for my YouTube channel. So if the lighting is a little bit weird in this video or <laughs> very different from the lighting in my previous videos, that is why, because I am currently shooting on my umbrella lights or my white umbrella lights, and I got a set, uh, maybe I'll show a picture here, that, um, um, I got like a backdrop with like green screen, black, and white. I also got a set with two umbrella lights, so white umbrella lights and then black umbrella lights. And then I got soft box lights, which are kind of like this metallic-y... I'll show a picture here. So I'm currently filming on white umbrella lights, so this is what I was told. Um, on the internet that this is what you use when you're indoor and you want a soft kind of light look So we're gonna try that today. Maybe we'll do softbox lighting later I kind of knew I was getting it because my parents are like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I really don't know and they're like Well, we have to get you something because your brother is getting a Nintendo switch and we can't just get you a box of chocolates Which is literally the only thing you've asked for. Alright, so the next thing I got which I guess is I've already told you about was I got a box of chocolates Now this is a funny story. So I was like ranting to my mom and basically everyone this holiday season that I'm kind of in that weird phase where I am not old enough to for people to assume that I want a nice box of chocolates for Christmas but I am definitely old enough to want a box of chocolates for Christmas like people don't assume someone who is not even 20 years old yet wants a fancy box of chocolates but I really do. So that's literally the only thing that I asked for. So I got this and then, well, this is more of like cookies and stuff, which is delicious. And then I also got another one, which is pot of gold, which is also awesome. I'm so excited to eat these because I love chocolate. Next, I got this rose gold Eiffel Tower. It is so cool. It has these little gems on the bottom. If you don't know, I love Paris so much. Paris is like my city and I know a lot of people love Paris but like you don't understand dude like I love Paris. I love pink um and especially rose gold so I'm really excited to get this and um I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet but it's adorable. Next on the rose gold theme I got these earrings here they're from Claire's um sorry that was upside down but I'm glad I got them because they're actually super sparkly in like real life with natural lighting and I'm so glad I got them because they're they don't look like they would be from Claire's they look like they could be from somewhere fancy. <laughs> the next thing I got was this necklace right here and it is just this beautiful I believe the gem is like amethyst I think that's what you call it and it's just this purple gem and it looks all misty and smoky. I thought it looked like an ocean at nighttime and I love it because it kind of has like witch vibes. To further prove to you my love of Paris, I also got a bookmark. 
pink platypus, which is adorable. I love him so much. Or her, or they, or whatever this is. Kind of reminds me of a Neffler from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. You know those creatures that like steal all the gold and stuff. So it looks kind of like that, but also kind of like a platypus. But then again, I've never seen a pink platypus. But then on the other hand, I've never seen a pink Neffler. So... So the next thing I get, and it's kind of like, I guess, a Christmas tradition. This is probably just a really good Christmas gift in general, so that's probably why I get one every year. And that is a planner. So I got this one here, which I think says, don't forget to shine or choose to shine. That's what it is. And it has rainbows on the bottom. And of course, to go along with the planner, I have some stickers and I have to-do list notes. This is going to be so useful because I have so many lists. I have lists everywhere. Next, I guess moving on to books, I got this book here called Costume in Art and it is a beautiful, beautiful book. If you open it, I'll just show you how beautiful the pictures are. So they're from paintings and it kind of basically analyzes what the people are wearing in the paintings and how that reflects the time period. Continuing on the theme of books, I also got this book here. It is for the pianos and vocals for some of Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, best work. So there's Phantom of the Opera in here, there's Jesus Christ Superstar, there's Cats. The next thing I got was this beautiful infinity scarf here, which is this beautiful pink plaid with black. If you don't know me, I love pink. I think I already said that in this video, but I love pink and I love black and I love plaid. So this is like a perfect combination of them two. The next thing I got, which is kind of a scarf, but not really, uh, this is a poncho. Um, it looks so cool. Maybe I'll put it on to show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'll do that. So this is what the poncho looks like. I've worn it a few times. I wore it boxing day shopping. Okay, moving on to the next thing, which is also kind of a scarf thing. Uh, if you didn't already know, I live in Canada, so it's cold, like, 90% of the time. Just kidding. More like, uh, 82% of the time it's freezing cold, so <laughs> I need a lot of winter stuff because that's the majority of what I'm gonna be wearing. Beautiful. It has ombre, and it's made of cashmere, and it's from India. I know that. It's from a fancy place in India, which makes fancy cashmere. So yeah, so I got this scarf. It is so comfy, so beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Like I said, <laughs> most of the time I'm wearing pink or black, so that's gonna work with what I'm wearing. So <laughs> wearing all those scarves and ponchos made my hair a little bit staticky. I look a little bit like a mixture between Matilda from Matilda the Musical and the witch from the original Into the Woods, original Broadway cast, but bear with me. So I guess we save the best for last and that is from Bath and Body Works. Body Works has their big semi-annual sale on Boxing Day and then they have another one in July but the big one is on Boxing Day so I decided the day after Christmas to go and get some more things. So for Christmas they gave me a small twisted peppermint bottle. Next thing I got was this gingham smell. It smells so good but also I really like it because it has kind of the the gingham style of Dorothy and I love the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz was probably my favorite uh, musical as a kid before I got into this weird musical theater phase. And then they gave me hand sanitizers in cucumber lemon, lemon, melon, cucumber melon, Merry and Bright, which has a robot on it. Next I got me winter candy apple, Merry Berry Cheer, no, Merry Cherry Cheer. Oh, Magic in the Air was another one they got me, vanilla bean. Noel. What I got for Boxing Day, I will go through next. So I'm just gonna pull this out at random. So I got Frosted Coconut Snowball here. Uh, this one smells good. I mostly got holiday scents, um, even though like some people are like, oh, but you can't use it when it's not Christmas time. That's not true. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna be able to smell and be like, oh, she's wearing Bath and Body Works, blah, blah, blah. Like, pff, no one does that unless you're like maybe a werewolf or something. I got winter candy apples. So I got a big twisted peppermint. So Merry Cherry Cheer. So this one is quite interesting and let me tell you why it is interesting. I have had this scent or I've had the scent called pink champagne. I'll actually go grab it for you. So I have had this scent, uh, pink, sh pink, oh I thought it was pink champagne, pink confetti and I've had it for three years and as you can tell 
I haven't used a lot of it. You know why? Because it smells delicious and I don't want to use it. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Oh my god, I just dropped it. This is not scripted, guys. This is literally me. Anyways, the point of the story is that Pink Confetti and Merry Cherry Cheer literally smell the same. Next, I got hot cocoa and cream. And then I got Christmas cookies. And then I also got Christmas cookies in a shower gel. And then I got Santa's blueberry shortbread. I got Santa's blueberry shortbread in a hand cream. Then I also got Santa's cookies in a hand cream. I got hot cocoa and cream in a hand cream as well. So I would have gotten uh, hot cocoa and cream in the shower gel, but literally I sniffed it and then my stomach felt really sick, like right away. And then I walked away and came back because I really wanted like the full set because I love this smell in both the shower gel and the hand cream. And then I smelled the spray or er, in the shower gel. What? And the last three things I got was winter candy apple in the shower gel and I got black vanilla, black raspberry vanilla, which also smells really good. And then I got um, apple blossom. So that is all the physical gifts that I got for this Christmas. Um, but uh, I have other great, great, amazing news, which I definitely think this channel will <laughs> appreciate. So this was 100% a surprise. I didn't ask for this gift. I wasn't even expecting this gift. I didn't even think this was like possible in any single way. Um, <laughs> my parents um, got me and my brother uh, Hamilton tickets <laughs> to see Hamilton when it's in like the decade that it came out is gonna be such an amazing experience. This is like seeing Phantom of the Opera in the 80s or the early 90s. Like, it's just, it's overwhelming, dude. Um, if you've seen my top favorite musicals, you'll know Hamilton is on that list. So yeah, I'm gonna go see Hamilton. Um, I'm trying not to freak out too much because <laughs> so many, cause like I act so crazy on the internet and then when it's like genuine crazy and happiness, I feel kind of like nervous, I guess, expressing genuine emotion. That sounds horrible. I know that a lot of people are not as fortunate as I am to go see Hamilton. I am beyond excited. Um, I don't know like how, how? So for those of you who don't know when tickets for Hamilton Toronto came out, just like whenever Hamilton comes to a different city. I didn't think it was possible because first they announced like two years ago, I think I was like still in high school when they announced that they were gonna be um, hosting Hamilton at the Ed Mervis Theater. And they said something about the process that subscribers um, to the Ed Mervis Theater were going to be get the notice first or members of the Ed Mervis Theater or whatever they're like kind of like like rewards program is that those people were going to have access to the tickets first and that they were going to do kind of like pre-sale tickets for those people and of course um we live close to toronto but not enough to pay f extra for a membership so i thought oh they're gonna buy all the tickets and there's gonna be very few left and of course non-theater people want to see the show like everyone wants to see what the hype is about which i'm glad which i'm grateful for because this exposes musical theater makes it more like mainstream culture it's great for musical theater not great for me buying tickets though my mom went online and was buying the tickets and something about what was it um 20 000 people were in line in front of her we got balcony i think like center balcony which is like <laughs> pretty good seating. So it was a crazy fiasco. And of course, because of all those things listed, I knew all that was going to happen. I knew it was going to be crazy trying to get tickets. So I didn't even bother asking. But I'm like still going in like shock. Like when I first heard, I, I was in shock. Then the next day I was a little bit more <laughs> less in shock and excited. Now I'm pretty excited. Um, it's probably going to be a week, probably a week before I'm going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to go see Hamilton. I'm going to be in the room where it happens. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I'm so excited to share the news with you guys. I'm so excited that I got to show you everything. I feel so blessed and so excited and most of the stuff was not expected. <laughs> the majority of the stuff was not expected at all. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to be notified when I have new uploads. If you love musical theater, if you love comedy, or if you love fashion and style, 
then make sure to subscribe. Also, follow my social medias. I will have them all linked below. Follow me on TikTok. It's gonna be a great time. In the name of Dionysus, the god of theater, make sure to subscribe. You wouldn't want to make Willie Shakes upset, would you? And I think that's it for today, and bye!